So, like, we're gonna go before the throne right now. Yes, ma'am. And uh, like I said, you want we want to make sure we all have a clean heart. I'm gonna check my heart. I check my heart every day. I never assume I don't have sin in my heart. No. Because you, I could have self righteousness in my heart, right? I could have jealousy. I could, I could even have unforgiveness and don't even know it, thinking I've forgiven everybody, but I still have unforgiveness in my heart, right? But the Holy Spirit will show me. So let's just take a minute and let's all go before the Lord. Yes, yes. And ask Lord. the Lord to search our heart. Then we're going to pray. Then we're going to decree a salvation of prayer. Just decree it, right? We're going we're gonna to repent, renounce, and then as the Holy Spirit leads me, I'm going to come against demonic spirits as the Holy Spirit leads me. Because Mark 16, 17 said, those who believe will cast out demons. So if there's any demonic spirits within you, okay, if you truly surrender to the Lord, we're going to believe those things are going to leave you. Amen. Come on. Okay. 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 Now, you might feel things within you. You might feel swervy things. Some people have thrown up. Sometimes not. Like when I got delivered, I just felt lighter. But I'm just letting you know now, if you do feel something moving, some people, you know, like when I go to the jail, they hit the ground, slither, and all. It doesn't happen to a, a lot, but a lot of times people will feel some heat or something come out. But I don't, I want you, don't want to focus on that. Focus on the cross. Yes. Okay. Don't focus on the sensationalism. Okay. Yes. Because it's like we're focused on deliverance. We're focused on the fruits of the spirit, not not the what the demons are trying to get our attention. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and, and let's go before the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Praise God. All right, Father, we just come before you right now, Lord God. Yes. We worship you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your glory. Father God, we thank you for who you are. You are omnipotent. You are omniscient. You are omnipresent. We just thank you, Lord. Come to your gates with thanksgiving, your course with praise. Father, we just worship you, Father God. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. Father God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your son, Yeshua. We thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. Father, we just thank you for how good you've been to us and our families, Lord God. We thank you for heaven, Lord God. We thank you for eternal life, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins, Lord. We just worship you, Lord God. We glorify you. You are King of Kings. You are Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Luke 10, 19, you've given us power to tread over serpents. All the power of the devil. Thank you, Lord God. You made us kings and priests you say in Revelations. So we thank you that the king status, we are a king under you, you are the king of kings. You have given us king status. That's over all principalities. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We don't deserve it, but you've given it to us. We praise you, Lord God. We glorify you. We worship you, Lord God. Let your glory fill this place. We know there's no distance in the spirit realm. We know there's no distance in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Father God, right now, we thank you, Lord God, for your legions of angels coming down right now. Psalms 103.20 says that angels of the Lord hearken to the voice of your word. We thank you that out of our bellies flowing rivers of living water. Father, right now, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, we bind up every demonic principality yes. that has jurisdictions over my brothers. Father, we give the blood of Jesus over our families. You contend with those who contend with us. And our children shall be said. We come against every spirit of retaliation for this prayer. Father, we thank you that no weapon formed against us or our family shall prosper in the mighty name of Yeshua, Shia, Lord God. We just worship you, Lord God. We glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you. Fresh fire, fresh glory. Thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're about to do. So I want you to repeat after me. Say, Father. Father, we confess, we confess your son Yeshua, your son Yeshua, as our Lord, as, as our Lord, Lord, our Savior, our Savior, and our Deliverer. And our Deliverer, we believe, we believe, he went to the cross, he went, went to the cross to die for us. To die for us for our sins for our sins to become a curse for us to become a curse for us so we would not be cursed so we would not be cursed he shed his blood he shed his blood he died he died he, died. he was buried he was buried and on the third day and on the third day you father you father rose him from the dead Praise God. Praise God. That we can be adopted. So that we can be adopted as children. As children. Into your kingdom. Into your kingdom. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yeshua. We surrender everything to you. We surrender everything to you. You are our Lord. You are our Lord. Our Savior. Our Savior. Our Healer. Our healer, our deliverer, our deliverer, Father, Father. With that being said, with that being said, we repent, we repent, we renounce, we renounce, we break covenant with, we break covenant with all sin, all sin that I've committed, that I've committed, and that my ancestors have committed. From my mother's side, from my mother's side, to my father's side, to my father's side, to the first generation, to the first generation, I repent, I repent for all sexual sin, for all sexual sin, witchcraft, witchcraft, sorcery. Sorcery, black magic, black magic, fornication, fornication, gang ties, gang ties, pharmacia, which is drugs, pharmacia, tattoo covenants, tattoo covenants, strange piercings, strange piercings, alcohol. Alcohol. Murder. Murder. Theft. Murder. Murder. Theft. Theft. Pagan worship. Pagan worship. For the all sins known and unknown. All sins known and unknown. I'm sorry for them all. I'm sorry for them all. I forgive. I forgive. Yes. Praise God. Say I forgive, I forgive all those. I forgive all those that have offended me. That have offended me. Yes. Have abused me. Have abused me. Yes, Lord. And my loved ones. Hallelujah. And my loved ones. As you've forgiven me. 
as you forgive me. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Father, I ask that after I'm delivered, Father, I ask that after I'm delivered, you fill me with your Holy Spirit. You fill me with the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. And the gifts of the Spirit. So I can accomplish. So I can accomplish the will. The will. The plan, the will, the plan, the the plan and the purpose, the plan and, and the purpose, purpose you have for my life. You have you have my life. life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yeshua, for saving me. For saving me. Hallelujah. Okay, now I want you to focus on the cross. I'm going to pray right now for you. Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Father, right now I, 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 I come before the, the throne on behalf of my brothers right now. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we thank you for this privilege. They have confessed their sins. Father God, they have forgiven those who have offended them to the best ability, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you that your son Yeshua became a curse for them so they would they would not be cursed. Father, we thank you for your mercy and your grace. Mark 16, 17, Father God tells us, Father, those who believe will cast out demons. Father, we thank you that by your stripes that we are healed. So, Father, we come before, uh, uh, before your throne with our covenant rights. So in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, every demonic spirit, from their mother's side to their father's side. Every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of sorcery, every spirit of black magic, every demon that came through the tattooing, through the games, every demon that came through abuse, whether verbal, physical, or sexual, from the mother's side to the father's side, every spirit of depression, every spirit of premature death, sickness, disease, every curse that came from witches, from warlocks, Father God, from pagan altars, from Freemasonry, Father God, from every pagan Masonic covenant, even from Native American worship, Father God, false God worship, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, angels, we call for 70 legions of angels right now. Yes. Right now, angel of the Lord, go within their belly. Go within their chest right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. I command the spirits to manifest right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. Every demon of depression, every demon of anger, every demon of pharmacia and drugs, cocaine, every demon of fentanyl, every demon of marijuana and alcohol, manifest right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost right now. I want fire come from the bottom of their feet. To the crown of their head, every demon of death, yes, yes Lord. Demon, every demon of pride, every demon of murder, manifest in them right now. Fire the whole increase the fire, oh, right yeah. increase the fire, come out of them right now. Angels of the Lord, bind the strong man Thanks. and every demon of the authority, Thanks. break their crowns, their rings Thanks. right now. Fire the Holy Ghost, every spirit of death, every spirit of Thanks. depression. Fire. Every demon that has come against them to stop them from fulfilling the mission that you have for them. Bind the strong man. We bind the principality. Fire the Holy Ghost. Angel Lord, bind these demons in fiery chains right now. All witchcraft, all black magic, all tarot cards, every demon that came through sexual soul ties, incubus, succubus Mm. spirits, spirit of homosexuality. Manifest right now. Increase the fire. Increase the fire. Every spirit of sickness and disease, fire the Holy Ghost right now. Increase the fire. We decree your glory right now. Just manifest in that place. Angel of the Lord, according to Psalms 1 through 20, take these demons right now to the pit of hell. Now, come out of them right now. Come out of their belly. Holy Ghost sword, go deep into the belly. Break up every demonic spirit, every demon of hatred, rage. Destroy every demonic altar in the mind, every demon of lust. 
sexual perversion. Come out of them right now. Come out of them. Every demon of fighting and violence. Come out of them. Increase the fire, depression. Out right now. Come off their shoulders. Come out of their neck. Right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. Right now. I need the blood of this flesh here right now. Increase the fire right now. All over their head. Every demon of heaviness. Broken off. Every demon of rejection from the Father's side. Every demon of rejection manifests right now. Every rejected spirit of rejection came through the Father. Increase the fire right now. Angel of the Lord, every serpent spirit, yes. python spirit, come out of them. Now, right now, come out, come out, come out of the eyes. Right now, out in Yeshua's name. Come out of them right now. Self pity, come out of them. Out. Father God, right now, every demon of confusion, every demon that talks to them in their head, in the Father God, right now, in their audio cortex, mm. their visual cortex, demons that speak to them. Bind those spirits up right now. Every spirit that comes to them with nightmares, night terrors, I bind you in the name of Yeshua. She come out. Come out of them. Any spirit around, them, take them to the pit of hell. Angel of the Lord, take these demons to the pit of hell now, right now. Come out. Now, right now. Come out. Yes, Lord. Come out in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. I decree that they're healed from the crown of their head to soul feet. Every spirit of pain. Sickness, disease, come out of them right now, out of their DNA, out of their RNA. Father God, we break off every curse of sickness, disease. Matthew 8 17, you took and bore their infirmities and diseases so they would not have them. Every spirit of pain, back pain, come out of them. Out! Back pain, come out of them. Right now, in Yeshua's name. Glory, Father God, let your glory just manifest in that place right now. Let your glory. Father, strongly, let your let it glory manifest. Angel Lord, remove every demon, every straggling demon right now. In the every spirit of spiritual laziness. Go right now in Jesus' name. Come out of them. Out in the name of Jesus. Go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Father. Fill them with your Holy Spirit right now. Fire out of their belly shall flow yes. rivers of living water. Let them feel, Father God, a river flowing in their belly right now. Feel them. Fire the Holy Ghost. Let them come, Father God. Thank you for your gift of tongues, Lord God. Give them an utterance in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Let them feel your utterance, Lord God. Yes. Let them feel your peace, your joy, your love, your goodness, your kindness, your self control. Father, I decree the helmet of, let them feel the helmet of salvation on them. The swords of the spirit, the shield of faith, feet shot with God's peace, the belt of truth. Fire right now, all over them right now. The glory of God covers their front and back. I think that when they lie down, they shall have a sweet sleep. Out in Jesus' name. Come out of them. Completely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift them up to you. Hallelujah. Brother, you, want to, you want to pray? If you get into the spirit. Would you like to pray? Hallelujah. Pour Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I thought I was muted. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? We need, we need your prayer, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, I, I, I'll be out, man. I keep hearing Michael in my spirit. Amen. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I, I just pray for the children right now. The concerns with their children. Lord. Lord, as I was saying earlier, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I come against every attack of the enemy to try to bring forth, to encapsulate something, to turn something over to a negative. I break it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I pray for favor wherever the children are. In Jesus' mighty name. That those who are taking care of the children right now, they be at perfect peace. I come against every spirit of heaviness. I command that spirit of heaviness. Peace in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I just lose your peace, your protection, Lord, over the children. In your mighty name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every spirit of restlessness, worry, anxiety over the men right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every backlash, every Italian spirit of the enemy for them coming into the program in Jesus' mighty name. Against division in the families in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth restoration and restoring in the relationships. 
between yeah. fathers and children in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I pray for favor with the children's mothers in Jesus' mighty name. Peace. I, I just ple I plead the blood of Jesus over their minds right now. Everywhere that the enemy uh, division trying to cause havoc and stress. Peace in Jesus' mighty name. I, I speak to that storm and I tell that storm to be at peace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I encourage them right now. I speak life into them. When the enemy comes to bring forth stress or worry, worry for nothing but in all situations, prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, that the peace of God will guard your heart and your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stir up the prayer line of the brothers right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every time the enemy attacks the mind to bring forth worry, can we act it with prayer in Jesus' mighty name? Hallelujah. It brings fear unto you about your children. Bless them with safety in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over their thought life, mind, and quicken them, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, to take every thought into captivity, every imagination that exalts itself over your knowledge, Lord. Lord, I pray for their sleep, that it be perfect sleep of peace. I break every attack of restlessness right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit of nightmare. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Lord, I pray for meekness right now. Every spirit of stiff neckness, rebellion, in the mighty name of Jesus. this right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Brothers, how are you feeling Thank you, right Lord. now? In the mighty name of Jesus. Two brothers that Hallelujah. How, how many of y'all feeling? Hallelujah. I come right against now. every demon that's on assignment right now. How, how to bring them out of that program. Right I bind them in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Okay. I want to hear what the Holy Spirit work with you what would the holy spirit do as we are praying i want anybody want to testify what god has done for them Hallelujah. uh i had i had an experience a couple years ago uh at the seattle revival center uh and got uh and got some demons cast out of me and had a very spiritual experience there but since then i turned uh i turned back to drugs in in a way that i never had before and, and right retained a lot of evil right uh, and when I came back here, I read about uh, when a dead demon get cast away, seven more can come back or something along those lines. I don't know the exact words, uh, but I was really worried about that. And, and that in the prayer that we just had was one of the most powerful ones I've ever had. In my Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus. I yes. haven't had very many physical feelings of prayer, but I literally, like, my stomach was, like, turning and my no. chest was hot. Uh, so Amen. that's exactly. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You, see, you felt something come out of you? Did you feel something come out of you? Uh, I felt it started deep in my stomach, and I felt stuff come, like, up into my throat almost, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. No, is, is it still that. there though? Because we need to pray. Is it still there? No, I, yeah. I have. I, okay, I, 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 I want to come no, with you. Praise yeah, God. Anybody yeah, else yeah. want to testify yeah. what the yeah. Lord did for you? Anybody else felt anything? How many of y'all felt lighter now after we prayed? Like you said, I felt some heat right here in my chest, and I, I just feel better now. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't know. Like I said, we're just praying and we've been led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And everything like that. And, and Brother Shane, we, we had uh, muted you. It wasn't because of anything like that. They're trying to hear what I was trying to say. <laughs> and you were praying. Loud. Amen. Hey. So, oh, glory to God. You know, when, when they ask. <laughs> so, yeah. There, no, we, we know, man. But in the spirit. It was connected. No, I, I was giving some counsel when they couldn't hey, hear. And, so, hey, when they, they started the speakers, so they, they couldn't hear. So they stood for prayer for their children. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now praise God. Yeah, you know when they when they ask for uh, prayer for their sons, that's the Lord told me get up and get back yeah. there and start interceding. I, I felt. Yeah, praise God. Man, God is good, man. And it's confirmation. The Lord was telling me to uh, pray against something was lodged in the throat. It's time to get out. Yeah, you know, there it is. There it is. Praise uh, God. You hear that? God is good. First brother was talking. They were saying something was right there. So that's right on. Praise yeah. God. See, and what we do is, you know, we've entered into the glory of God. You see, what I'm Amen. Glory, of God. Praise God. There's, there's power. It's not by our power, yes. it's by our power, but by His Spirit. Exactly. No, 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 no. Amen. All right. So, now we Amen. love you, brother. We're praying for you. Yeah. I've been reading the book, How to Renew Your Mind. How many of y'all been reading that? How to Renew Your Mind. Yeah. Very good book, brother. Thank you. For that? Okay, I just want to make sure you guys are just, just staying up, man, reading those principles in the book. And we're going to send some more. I'm going to be sending some more books, hopefully by the end of this week. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That, part, that part in the book you were just talking about it earlier about the, the heart transplants. I yeah, that was praise God. Okay, you read that part. Okay, praise God. All right, man. Well, I know we kept you all kind of late tonight. Right. Brother Ray, Brother Shane, awesome night. I have one more man to introduce to you. He's a new staff member. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, how you doing, brother? How's it going? Oh, we're doing good, man. What's your Bless. name? Amen. My name is DJ. DJ, okay. God bless you, DJ. Nice to, have nice you to meet forward, you. Man. Praise God. Thank you, brother. I appreciate Amen. That. Yeah, no. Hey, 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 thank, well, thanks for attending. All right. We we'll look forward to seeing yes, you. Sir. Okay. Hey, brother Ray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got a word for Daniel. Okay, as a word for Daniel, uh, brother Shane, as a word for Daniel, brother Daniel, the Lord loves you, man. The one thing I kept hearing my spirit about you is be at peace, rest, amen. Allow the Lord to settle you in, amen. In uh, when that, that spirit of worry comes on you, learn how to pray. Whatever's worrying you, ask God to take care of it. But I kept, I kept praying for you in the area of like your sleep, restlessness, you know, mm. uh, not settling in. It's like taking a deep breath and being patient. Amen. God's got wonderful things for you. Amen. I'm going to be praying for you. I'm praying for Mike. I'm going to be praying for your children, man. Amen. Praise God's God. got your children. Amen. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, God bless you, brother. All right. Wait. All right, fellas. Let me know it's uh it's late. So thank you for staying up, staying up with us. And yeah. Until next time, man. We love y'all, praying for y'all. Y'all make sure you pray for us too, please. Amen. Please pray for us. Okay? God is good. Okay. God is good. All right. God bless you. All right, love y'all. Bye. God bless you. God bless you. Are you experiencing voices in your head? Sleep paralysis? Fits of uncontrollable anger? Constant nightmares? Overwhelming fear? Anxiety and panic attacks? If so, good news. You're in the right place. God wants you and your family free. Look, demons are real. They're on assignment to cause sicknesses, violence, crime, tragedies, mental illnesses, and even premature death. This book, Demon Mentality Exposed, will give you a deep understanding of the diabolical mentality of demons through the narrative of an experienced demon deliverance minister. Evangelist Rayford Johnson is a retired correctional counselor and author who counsels and ministers healing and demon deliverance at correctional facilities, the streets, online, YouTube, phone prayer line, conferences, and residential settings. Learn how to safeguard yourself and your loved ones from demonic oppression possession and curses through the power contained in God's word, the Holy Bible. Thug Mentality Exposed is a groundbreaking book that offers an honest and insightful look at the inner workings of gangs and their members. Author and certified gang specialist Rayford Johnson draws from years of experience working in one of the nation's most violent adult youth correctional facilities and provides a unique window on the psychological and spiritual factors 
that lead individuals down the path of gang involvement. This book is not just another academic study of gang behavior. It's a raw and compelling account from someone who has been in the trenches, working directly with inmates and learning from their experiences. From the pressures of poverty and violence to the allure of power and status, Thug Mentality Exposed explores the complex motivations that drive young people into the thug life. Whether you're a concerned parent, a teacher, or simply someone who wants to better understand this important social issue, Thug Mentality Exposed is an essential read. With its powerful insights and compelling storytelling from the author and inmates themselves, this book will leave you with a deeper understanding and solutions to address thug culture. Order Thug Mentality Exposed now in paperback and Kindle. Introducing the powerful and captivating story of Ruben Palomares, a former LAPD cop who overcame incredible odds to find redemption. Follow his journey from the mean streets of East LA, through the ranks of his boxing career, and ultimately into law enforcement. But when tragedy strikes, Ruben's life takes a dark turn, leading him into a life of crime and despair. Yet despite facing brutal battles against unseen demonic forces, Ruben ultimately discovers a path to healing and deliverance through faith in his savior. Join us for this ultimate tale of redemption, as Ruben Palomares rises from the dark pits of despair to become a true hero in his own right. Order your copy today of Redemption of a LABD's Rogue Cop by author Rayford L. Johnson on Amazon in paperback and Kindle. Ever wondered why secret societies are secret? Why is it that an overwhelming majority of elite leaders in America, including those who've occupied the highest office, have belonged to an organization in the vast network of secret societies, whose rituals and teachings derived from the ancient mystery schools of Egypt and Babylon? Why is death the penalty for breaking a secret society oath? Why do they pay homage to pagan gods and goddesses? Why do many self-proclaimed Christians belong to these secret societies when their practices blatantly violate God's commandments, such as Exodus 20, 3, which states, Thou shalt have no other gods before me? And why don't most of their pastors say anything about it? Is there a secret motive behind the positive PR that many of these secret organizations receive for their good deeds, such as feeding programs, scholarships, volunteering, youth mentoring, etc.? that even the lower ranking members of these societies don't know about? Could today's network of these secret societies be the architects and workers of the Antichrist New World Order, AKA Illuminati, as prophesied in the Holy Bible? These questions and more will be answered by author and evangelist Rayford L. Johnson, who has spent more than 20 years researching, writing, and teaching on the occult. Johnson has counseled and ministered demon deliverance prayers on many former members of the occult. Many of them have testified that they have been set free by the power of Jesus Christ from the spiritual torment and generational curses that the pagan rituals and oaths have unknowingly brought upon them and even their family through the spiritual legalities of breaking God's commandments. As God's Word tells us, it's the truth that makes you free. Get your copy of the Greek letter exposed today on Amazon in paperback and Kindle.